Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can upload image into the cloud Nori in Android. So I am going to open the Google. Here I am going to search cloud Nori. So our result is loaded, just go to the bottom and see cloudnary.com right i just going to click this one so our site loaded successfully this official site for the cloudnary i just going to click the sign up for free in order to use the cloudnary i should have to create an account so i just click and create an account you guys see like there are one question right the primary interest i'm going to click the first one and I, I'm going to create an account. So it send a mail verification. I just go to my mail and click the Cloudinary and I just click sign in to validate your email address. So there are some free setup here. So I just going to click the developer. I just click continue. So this is my account, right? So I just going to click the dashboard here. In this dashboard, they are providing all account details, the cloud binary name, API key, API secret, and API environmental variables, right? This is our necessary to upload an image to the cloud binary. As of now, our cloud binary account setup is done. So just go to that Android Studio and create a new Android Studio project. So create a new project. Here I'm going to choose the empty activity. So I'm going to create So here I'm going to choose the language as Java and minimum API 5.0 Just click finish So here our Android project loaded successfully So I'm just going to expand the resources and layouts and going to the main.xml so here I want to create one image view. I just going to click this text, delete this text. So here I want to choose a image view. I just drag and drop to here. So for the sample I just click the one avatar. So I just click OK. So right click, sender horizontal, right click, sender vertical so I'm going to expand like this and I'm going to so I'm going to finally I'm going to click one button here so I'm going to arrange the button So I'm going to the split view. So here I want to change the button property here. The text as upload image. So now I am going to the main activity. So I'm going to declare the button and the image view. Here I am going to give the IDs for the views. So here we want to observe something. What will we going to achieve in future, right? So in first thing, user want to click the image view. 
so first you are going to click the image view so after we click the image view we will go into the gallery so then we select one image from the gallery then after we selected that uh, image will appear here then user want to click the upload image so after user click the up upload image that will go into the cloud nary so that's all so just go to the and describe our point here user want to click the image view second one select the image file here you can choose whatever you want image pdf video file from select the file from the gallery the third one show the image in the image view so the preview of the image in so the preview of the image in image view and the fourth one click the upload button to upload image to the cloud nori so that's all guys so these are the steps we are going to follow in the future so first i'm going to read this one user want to click the image view right image view dot set one click listener new one click listener that's all and another thing is like we can use as a lambda function here so i just click this is not necessary i just change right so as a lambda function so this is a java uh, 8 you know the advantage of java 8 so here i am going to list the things which i going to achieve in the future so in order to access the internal storage we have to ask the permission from the user so i am going to achieve this one ask the user to give the media permission so this is the first thing and secondly second moving to the gallery so first i am going to achieve the first one ask user to give the media permission so i just go to the manifest here I'm going to achieve user's permission read so this is for the storage this is for the storage storage so use the internet access so this is not necessary to ask a user I just have to declare in the manifest internet permission right that's all so just go to the main activity so here 1.1 one one. so this is a 1 this is 1 right so I meaning 1.1 one one. so here I mentioned 1.1 one 1.2 one, one so here I am going to achieve the 1.1 one one. so i created one method i just click so this is the help of the android studio i just cre create a method here so inside the method i'm going to ask the permission from the user right context comebacks dot check self permission so here i want to pass the context so this context is the activity name is main activity dot this then manifest dot permission read
read external storage storage i just hit enter so i have to equal package manager dot permission granted so i just minimize this one so i hope you guys now you can see clearly so what i did here i asked the user the self permission so if the permission is granted then i have to select the image so this is a function not yet implemented or else so i'm going to explain the request permission method check self the permission so here if the user already granted that read external storage permission so i am going to access this select image so it's not yet created or else i am requesting the read external storage permission this is not related to the image upload this is related to the permissions right so that's all for the permission so i am going to implement this select image so i just click here i am going to create one method so inside the method i am going to select the image select the image from gallery so how we can select the image which is inside the gallery right so we can we have to use the intent right intent so i going to import the intent import class i'm creating one object in in so make sure you Uh, you can't create the int and object as a int because int is a variable type, right? So just checking. I'm creating the int and int, or just create int and right symbol, symbol int and right. So new int and. So I'm calling the int and, and here I have to specify the type. So in the set type method, I have to mention image. so this will show all the images in the gallery so i finish this one so make sure to use the correct syntax so if you want if you want you can use pdf if video so in my case i am going to select the images okay inside the gallery okay then i am calling the intent intent object and set action in the action i have to choose intent dot action get content a content inside that gallery right so i have to mention like this start activity for result so first i have to mention the intent object intent and second parameters as a uh, you know we have to mention one integer for the image request that's for the request code i just mention one here so the good way is here request code and the request code i just mention the integer right this is not a good practice so i'm going to the top and i'm going to create private static int image request 1 so 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 afterward so i created one integer so i copy this integer 
so I paste it here and here as well and the only thing I have to mention uh, this is deprecated right so if the lines says we can't use it we can't use this is work but in future they will going to remove right so I just click and go inside the start activity for results and I can see why is deprecated and uh, I think better to see this result in the last so as of now I keep it as it is in future I mean in the end of the video I will going to check this start activity result and I will fix this one so as of now this is fine this will work correctly so I have to override one method which is called on activity result so I'm going to override the method inside the on activity results I'm going to check the condition here request code right so request code result code and data so I'm going to choose the request code first request code must be one right this code right image request and second one is a result code activity dot result okay data which is from the intent which is means not equal to null mean intent have some data right if the intent have some data and and this is the final condition here data dot get data not equal to null right which means this have some value so then I'm going to get the URI data right so I'm going to get the image path so data get data you can see data is a URI right so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare one so going to declare the URI you are right you are right so I'm going to select that as a image path right I'm going to name the URI as image path and I'm storing to the image path that's all so after I stored the image path into this image path I'm going to show it into the UI right so I come here so I'm going to tell the follow again after user click the image view so we are navigating the gallery in the gallery we have choose one image after we choose the image uh, that will direct to our app after we direct to our app our intent have some data which is having this previous selected image path that's called in the URI right so we have to show the preview here right so in order to show the preview I'm going to use one open source library called Picasso I'm going to search and write Picasso and write image view so this is the open source library so this is the official website and I'm going to open another link as well github so so we have to open this link as well so this is the official documentation for the Picasso so in order to use the Picasso we have to read the documentation carefully but uh, this is a simple way so I just go into the top bottom so I'm going to the bottom I I copy this the gradle and come back to the app and expand the gradle script and go to the build out gradle in the bottom Picasso library right so I paste it here but I have to mention the version so here I have to mention the version right so I I come I go to that github and in the bottom they mention the latest version right or else I just copy this one and and paste it here 
I just click sync now our library added successfully uh, now I am going to that documentation so I am going to copy this documentation sample code and come back to our main activity so here after user select the image from the gallery I have to show that image into the image view right so I paste it here I just click I import the library all tender or if you are using a Mac user just click option enter then here I have to paste the path right so in our case the path is image path that's URI right so that path URI then image view right so I already named the image view as image view so no need to change here that's all uh, just check this functionality now oh actually that uh, our image view not showing up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to that main activity again so I'm going to the slip view so inside that I, I remove this tool structure compact and I just click structure in the structure I'm going to add uh, Android icon right Android something like that card view design material IC launcher right so this is a fine right so I again click the apply changes and restart okay now it's done right so I just click the image view so it's asking hello cloudinary android update our app name to access photo and media on your device I just click hello just again click that image so it's directly direct to that gallery right so I just go here I click the images downloads so I have the image here so I just clicked my stack of flow image so after that I am going to click the update but as of now we not yet implemented this function right I'm going to back here as of now we completed these three steps right so user click the image view and navigate to that gallery then select the image and display it to the image view so now the time to uh, upload our image to the cloud nary right so just go to the google and search android cloud nary sdk so this will direct to that android sdk cloud nary so make sure cloudnary.com android underscore integration i just click this one so this is a sdk documentation so just come to that installation so android sdk installation right here i have to copy this library i copy this one and go to our dependency build.gradle and add the comment here cloudnary sdk and I click sing now so what went wrong here oh my god you know in the documentation this is not a proper documentation because you know in the you can see right uh, they mention they are using uh, a different syntax this is not uh, this one right the different syntax right I don't know the name but you know this is a uh, worst documentation I have ever seen right so as a developer we don't have any time to check this kind of stupid thing right so I just click try again so build successful right so I just minimize this one and I close the build.gradle come back to the documentation so I'm going to copy this metadata so I just click this copy clipboard and go to the manifest so after the activity tag I have to add this one so here I want to paste the cloudinary URL with our cloudinary URL so I, this is one cloudinary this one right I just copy this one and select and paste it and make sure guys you remove the cloudinary URL in the bottom right so I only add cloudinary colon slash slash and my link right so that's all and I am going to that main activity now and this is the documentation again 
so here I have to config with init so I just copy this one the map object so inside the onCreate method I am going to call one method here that's called init config or whatever it is I just I so I'm going to change so init config here I'm going to click here and create the method here inside the method I paste the things so option enter and option enter import class and option enter and make sure guys I am using the Mac so that's why I clicked option enter so if you are using uh, your I mean if you are using Windows you have to select all tender so that will automatically import the libraries so here there are three parameters but they only mention two things right so if you go to the cloudnary cloudnary name api key api secret right uh, the api environment variable we already set it in the manifest but in the cloudnary name api key and api secret we not yet set right so cloudnary name so i'm going to uh, the cloudnary name right so this is a key uh, this is a cloudnary name right so i just copy this one and paste it here and second one is api key i just copy this one so i just enter config dot put second thing api underscore key say api key right api key and i paste the api key here and config dot put the third parameter api secret underscore c c r e a t api secret api secret right so i copy this one so we just can choose this one right that's all guys as of now i'm going to comment this config.secure so make sure what are the parameters we added in the map right so we added cloudnary name api key api secret so i set up all the cloudnary details successfully so i'm going to that on create method uh, so i'm going to implement the button click button set on click listener new one click listener again i'm going to make this replace this one with lambda that's all so i'm going to call the media manager so this is media manager from the cloudnary you have to make sure that is from the cloudnary media manager dot get then upload right so in the upload we have to pass the URL so in our case our image path that's called URL uh, that's image path right I copy this one and paste it here so afterwards I am going to uh, observe right so in order to observe I am going to call the callback function here so callback new upload callback right first one the interface right so this is this from the cloudnary so that's okay so i'm going to call the lock here first of all i'm going to create one lock message here main just code upload image image activity and I added two hashtags three hashtag here so inside I'm going to call this lock here lock and start so let's say long tag I just remove this upload image is fine and our tag message now we can see that is the underline red lines goes away
that's all guys just restart the app reinstall and restart the app I forgot to do one thing I just go to that you know the method the button click method after I call the callback function I click here you can see here in the end of the callback I just call dispatch so that's all so another thing I going to do that's not necessary but you want to do that uh, so in the init configuration I control cut I mean cut this one uh, and paste over here so now you can see well organized code format right so now I'm going to click the run button again just click the button and click the image and click upload image and go to open the logettes so in the logette we can see the log messages which we put inside that uh, you know button click here so success right we getting the success message so just go to the cloudinary and click the media manager media library and click the media library and you can see our uploaded image come here right i am telling the additional information so just go to the settings in my settings just go to the upload and you can see here uh, these are the upload presets so here you want to set the configuration so this is my configuration here so i just click edit and you can see here this is a default preset name and uh, my signing mode is signed and i on actually these are the default you know it is defaultly on for the every created account and this is a thing and other than that other configuration as well just go to the security and here you can uh, restrict the types so these are other things guys so if you wish you can study further now time to fix the deprecated start activity for result i provide the link in the video description you can go and get there there are one stack of law question so if you guys don't know how to use the stack, stack of law just i pra i created one video just go there and uh, watch the video uh, so here one person provide the deprecated solution so what i'm going to do is i just want to copy this one so i'm using java make sure you select the java so i just copy this one and uh, this is deprecated so what i'm going to do is i'm just comment this one and comment this uh, this one as well and i paste it here so there are one libraries i not yet implemented i just click all gender and select this one make sure activity dot result android x and all gender so here we have to do the operations so i just comment i just delete this one on it so this data right so what i'm going to do is so this is the intent data so you can see here right this is intent data so i go i'm going to get the intent data into our uh, image path right so i'm calling the image path equal data dot get data right so that's all and i copy this picasso and paste it here so image path and the image view that's all guys so now i'm going to uh, the code again and you can see here this is a method we have to use the code i copy this one and paste it over here so intent object right so this is the intent object we paste it here this uh, object for the activity result launcher so that's fine guys so no need to keep the code i remove this one and now i run the app again so i just click here so i again select so you can see here right this is working for me right so just click image upload and go to my cloudinary and restart see 
this is working well right and finally one thing guys if you think this is a good explanation video just go to my youtube channel and hit the subscribe button this is a huge help for me so thank you so much